Hey everybody, welcome back. Now I never thought I'd be doing this video, but a lot of people have seen our tools and everything in the hangar here and asked for me to kind of walk through a toolbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys everything that we have here. Most of our stuff is all snap-on, but um, I'm gonna kind of just walk you through what we have here, what's set up. Um, I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom and then into our milling and our lathe equipment. So of course up here we have our snap-on lights. We have our, which uh, by the way, their lights are awesome, rechargeable. So check these out. And I'll, I'll go through some of these products and stuff with you and show you. But so we got our snap-on light. Of course, we've got our tape measure here. And this snap-on tape measure is awesome. You get it on both sides. So you check these out. Then we've got our rulers, extra lights, our torque wrenches and things are up here. Um, and across the top is just kind of our chargers and things we just keep up on top here. Now, of course, we always have our computer here or looking up like uh, if we're doing tap and dies and things like that, we need to look up some things. You know, we have this here for watering parts for some of the airplanes, um, we use that. Over in here, we have our uh, clamps and things for the milling equipment. So if you look at the mill, when we're manufacturing some parts and things like you've seen us do here on the Carbon Cub, uh, we clamp down some of the aluminum or steel, carbon fiber stuff, and then we're able to mill it from there. So we've got like our pencils and Sharpies and razor blades and stuff like that. So this is just kind of a, simple workstation for when we're grabbing our tools. Let's go ahead and dig into the actual tools and get into some of the stuff that we have here. So in the top drawer, of course, is all of our impact drivers, quarter inch, eighth inch, half inch um, socket sets. Um, then of course we have all of our different ends and stuff. Now some of these I absolutely love. So um, Snap-on has some really cool stuff. Well, this, this socket right here is really cool because you can turn it on its end. So if you're trying to get up in somewhere and just get it started, you can use this one and then turn it and use it like a regular socket. Of course, we have all the right angle sockets and things all the way down to our quarter inch. And then we have our extensions and things here, T-handles, got a breaker bar that we usually have in here. So we've got our breaker bar when you need something heavy duty, some torque wrenches, some more extensions, our tap and die handles and things are here as well. Um, and then of course we have everything from hex sets to torque sets, um, extenders, adapters. Um, this set's kind of cool. We actually use this on the boat too. So the thing I love about this little set is it's like right, right angle for ratchets. So if you need to get in somewhere and you can't get a, a wrench in there or something like that, you can get this in there, get it started. And that is a great tool. Of course, we have all of our, our torques and impacts. Everything is all up here when it comes to ratchets, impacts, and, and things of that sort. So that is the top draw. Coming to the next draw here, this is where we have a lot of our open end wrenches. Um, I'll talk about a few of them. And then I also want to talk about this foam because this is what prompted a lot of people to ask me to do this video because they kept saying, what is that stuff that your wrenches and your tools and stuff are in? Um, basically this is called shadow foam. So this foam here comes just like this where it's colors, so it can be a red, green. Typically the way I set them up is green is usually like metric and red is uh, standard. But uh, right now I just have it all just green and they give you the tools to actually cut out all of your outlines and then your tools are here. Um, what I love about this is when you're doing projects, when you finish with a project, that's what it looks like. So when you're cleaning up your tools and things like that, and you come back in here, you do a quick run by and you're like, okay, I've got all my sockets for today and oh, I'm missing two wrenches. Oh, where are they? There they are. And I usually put this stuff back in the middle of projects because then when I need something, where's my eighth inch? Come right over here. I got it ready to go. These are some of my favorites from Snap-on. Uh, these are kind of a little bit of angled uh, open end wrenches. I use these a lot, believe it or not. I never thought I'd use them so much. Then of course we have all of our small stubbies and things like that here. Uh, in addition to uh, Snap-on, we also have some wearer tools. And I'll talk to you a little bit about this. They're a little expensive, but these wearer tools are cool. This is an open end wrench, but they're different sizes to put onto like a, a bolt. And when you put it on the bolt, then it becomes like a socket wrench, but it's open end. So these are really cool wrenches to have. Down in the next drawer here, Here's all of our screwdrivers. So we got nut drivers here, open end. This is the everyday go-to. Of course, this is our standard snap-on ratchet screwdriver. You got ends in there. 
but then we also have ends and stuff that we use in other areas. We got our long snap-on screwdrivers here, and then our, our, our small snap-on, our picks, all the standard screwdrivers, and then we have punches, more picks and things. And then here is another wear -a set, which is, man, for almost every project that's not giant, I just pick this up and go. This wear -a set is pretty awesome. Of course, it's got all the adapters, high quality. You've got an end for your screwdriver. And then you've got your little socket to put any of these ends in. And also a simple little screwdriver end. And then we've got some sockets here. So this is like almost 80% of the time I could just pick this up and go do what we need to do on, on all these small projects and stuff. I'm going to continue down the center drawers here and then we'll come back to the other drawers. Again, so these are our wrenches. Um, by the way, snap on that this brand new set out here. This is so fine tuned. You can pick up the end of a nickel and pick it up. Uh, their tools are just awesome. You know, people, I know they're expensive and people complain about them and stuff, but I'll tell you when you actually use them and check out just some of the small features, you know, most wrenches, you got a two position. You know, here's a perfect example in snap on, I got a third position in there. Um, so they just really love their tools. I'll tell you what, I have one wrench here. I don't even know what it is, but it was part of a kit that we got from our Snap-on dealer. But if any of you guys can tell me what this is, please let me know. So there it is. Put in a comment down below. Let me know what this is used for, because I don't know. Um, and then of course we have all of our standard, you know, nippers. This Snap-on tool I've had for so many years and it still works great. These are my wire strippers and crimpers. These are always good to have because it's straight, but fine tune adjustable. Then of course we got our needle nose and things like that. But again, these are shadow foam. So when you're done with your project, you're coming back here. Oh, I'm missing a pair of plies. They might be still sitting in the cowling. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, then we've got over here, of course, we got our safety wire pliers, tin snips, things like that. So that's this drawer. It's all of our pliers and cutters. Down here, we get into our, all of our Allen sets. Uh, again, Snap-ons, really great. This is a Snap-on brand as well. Um, Snap-on, but it's a little, it's their next level brand, I think you, you would call it. So we still gotta do our shadow foam for, for those. And then we have some odd and end Allens and things like that. So this is just the Allen draw. This is where we get into some of our uh, power tools. Um, you know, so we've got like our snap-on driver, screwdriver, adjustable, our ratchet, and these are awesome. I mean, I've gone through even Milwaukee and all of them, but uh, Milwaukee, I'd have to say, is pretty good, pretty close to snap-on, but, uh, you know, Makita, different things. This torque on, on the snap-ons is just incredible. So, you know, we've got our Dremel tools, drills, drivers, saws, have our router here. We've got our heat gun and just some odds and ends stuff in here. So this is kind of, again, shadow foam you can see here, which when something's not there, pretty obvious. The last draw here is all the old just odds and end tools like uh, jigsaws and impact wrenches, things like that. So that's kind of a junk, junk draw there. Let's head over there to this side. Um, this is just odds and ends, cut proof glo uh, gloves. These are the scalpels that you use to cut out all the shadow foam. So this is just kind of a junk drawer. We got some brushes and things like that in there. Then we have all of our hammers and stuff. So snap on hammers are cool. We got a couple icons cause these are just some cheapies that we, uh, whenever we need them, we've got those there. Dead blow hammers and things. So hammer drawer, these are just tapes, glues. Actually, these glue should be down here. Tapes, glues, different things like that, double-sided tape. Um, down here, we have more like nail guns and stuff. So this is our Milwaukee. Um, this is great to have Brad set for doing a lot of odds and ends, little projects and stuff. So nail guns there. So let's roll over here. So this top drawer, 
is basically where all our electrical stuff is. So we've got all of our soldering irons. We've got a couple of snakes in here, a few different kinds of snakes. These snakes are awesome for the airplanes. So you kind of screw these together depending on what you need to get down in between like cowlings and stuff like that. So it's got you know different, different ends and things you can see in here. So you've got some ends in there. You can change the ends depending on what you need to do and depending on how long you need it. These uh, fiber optic kind of things are good. The other reason I like about them, they don't conduct electricity like you do when you're sticking another snake in there somewhere. So um, this is a really good little kit. I don't know what you call it, but uh, it's a fiberglass set. Then we've got kind of our, our meters ringing out. So it's all kind of electrical equipment here. Then we come down to this drawer. This is a, a pretty important drawer because this is where we get into a lot of the stuff that when we're doing milling or we're doing, we're on the lathe and things like that and we need some precision. You know, we got steel precision squares and things all the way down to tiny ones. Um, another great brand that we use a lot on is called Woodpecker. Now it's mostly for wood makers, but their products are just outstanding. They're, they got great features on them. Here's one that has almost every measurement tool you can use on there. Their stuff is very precise. You can do it different ways where if you needed to set it on your uh, bench top or if you need to put it on your, your saw or something like that, you can set it up that way. Then of course we have our punches for when we're getting ready to drill, scribes, things of that sort. Um, yeah, so a lot of just different odds and ends in this, but this is all kind of like measuring equipment and for designing and things like that. Here's another one, some more electrical stuff. Um, I will say the stuff that's in these drawers are not aircraft for it. For all of our aircraft stuff, like fittings and things like that, is in another area, another cabinet. Then we've got in here all of our stainless steel nuts and bolts. And we have another cabinet with a ton more in there. Um, Actually, this is a thread checker. This we use a lot, no matter what we're doing. We'll pull a, a bolt or something off, off the airplane and we're trying to figure out if we want to replace it. What is the bolt? Well, that's what these thread checkers are for. So we can just run this down until we find that, okay, so this is a metric number 822. Um, and then also on the other side of these are the mail part. So these are great to have. Thread checker, got to have that. Then we have other stuff in here. We have a laser for laser leveling and things like that. Just some other odds and ends. Now I'm gonna run over here to, this is more uh, stuff that we use for doing lathe and milling. And is also like precision measuring equipment. So whether it's our calipers, all of our pin set. So these pin sets are basically every size, if you need to measure, the size of a round hole. These are precision. Same thing right here. So depending on the size you're looking for, you've got them all here, all the way up to a four, four inch. Um, so if you're measuring spaces and things like that, this is really what we use for, for milling and things of that sort. Now, all the other stuff in here are just all different measuring uh, calipers and things of that sort. A lot of this stuff we use when we're on the milling machine. Next draw is a lot of the milling and lathe tools. So we've got a lot of our end bits, our gouging bits, you know, all kinds in here. Here's another like end mills and things of that sort. So if we're taking down some stainless steel or we're taking down some aluminum or something. So you can see everything's got some router, some router bits and things there. Um, these are our one, two, three blocks, which are just got to have these for precision whenever you're doing kind of precision type things. So the one, two, three is basically one inch this way, two inches this way, three inches this way. So that's why they're called one, two, three blocks. And then you can do all kinds of stuff where you can attach them to different things. But uh, that's a whole different video to get into precision milling and stuff. So here's some of our milling heads. We got some more down below some of our Allens and stuff for the milling equipment. So this is kind of where all the tools are. These are basically when we're doing lathes, these are our lathe bits. So for making grooves or cutting ends and things like that. And if you go watch our video, 
on our mounts and things that we built for the aircraft.